Comparative anatomy compares and contrasts the anatomies of different species. So the three types of comparative anatomy are homologous structures, vestigial structures, and embryology. Homologous structures are those that were inherited from a common ancestor. Vestigial structures were also inherited from a common ancestor, but they don't have a clear purpose in a certain organism anymore. And the embryology is the study of the development of embryos in a in an organism over time. An example of homologous structures across multiple species would be um, the, the limbs of all tetrapods. The limbs are used for walking, climbing, running. For humans, are used for carrying things. Um, but all of them have the same pattern. Um, one bone, two bone, many bones, and digits. Uh, yeah, so, for example, yeah, humans, alligators, dogs, they all have this pattern. An example of a vestigial structure in the human body would be the uh, human appendix. This originally was meant to aid with our, help with our digestive system, but now it stores bacteria. So this would be a vestigial structure because its function has changed over time, um, and it's not super useful anymore. In fact, many people get their appendix taken out because it could lead to append appendicitis. The embryo of a whale would support evolution. This is because early in its development has nostril grooves just like humans and whales do. These then develop, these then combine together to form a blowhole at the top of the head. Um, this would support evolution because it shows that although these thing these animals are totally different, he, although humans and dogs are totally different than whales, they share some of the ca same characteristics. Also, it shows that um, uh, whales developed from four-legged creatures through natural selection.